What's going on everybody? My name is Dialon57 and today I'm coming at you with another epic video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about what happens whenever you've come to the end of the line as far as the story content goes. Uh, when I say I've I finished Mop Remix, that means I've done all the story quests that I can do. Uh, and I haven't done, you know, like a whole lot of the group content yet, mostly just enough to finish some quests. Um, and, and yeah, I'm fully, I'm fully leveled up and I, I've, I finally gotten to the point to where it's like, okay, what do I do next? What's the next step? I'm no longer like chasing a question mark, so to speak. So that's kind of what I mean by finished. Once, once we kind of go over where I'm at, where you can kind of expect to be, at the same point, we can talk about what you should be looking to do next in order to get yourself ready for rating, for more difficult content, heroics, stuff like that. So first and foremost, uh, my character, max leveled, uh, I am around 259 eye level. I have some pretty decent gems, some crit, haste, mastery, uh, all the way upgraded. I need to get more of those, obviously, to put into all my different pieces of gear. But, um, yeah, you know, and you can see in my bank, I have all of my tinkers. I have all of my cogwheel gems. I have all of my meta gems. And I have, you know, a, a decent amount of lower level gems. Uh, getting ready to combine some more. I'm about to get another uh, orange or legendary versatility gem. Uh, another armor gem here pretty soon. Then I have about 62k, 62k bronze, something like that. Uh, and that's just been from questing. I haven't spent any bronze on anything other than uh, I spent 70 bronze on these bags to put in my bank because it's just like a really good deal. Why not? It was also like right there. So, <laughs> um, so I did that. I have just under 12k gold. I haven't really had to repair a whole bunch, and really the only thing that I spent gold on was bank tabs. I've tried to keep things pretty pretty chill and resource light. You know, saving up for the full inventory chest opening thing was, uh, it was, it was quite the experience. It made me conserve everything along with the chests it was it was fun it was good i was very underpowered but it was good so that's pretty much where i'm at now you can see uh hopefully you can see this i might need to zoom in a little bit more on that um but you can see the uh here's a, the rough stats on my cloak you know in the anywhere from four to six hundred ish stats 100 percent increased experience um there's definitely a lot more that can be farmed on that but it's it's decent as far as the cloak goes uh for you know not having specifically grinded anything out things that i haven't done i haven't done every dungeon yet uh i haven't done the heroic dungeons yet because that's more like group content type stuff i haven't done the isle of thunder and i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a clip up here that'll show you what happens whenever i try to do the scenarios I try to do the scenario with the freaking pterodactyl and you're jumping from thing to thing, like you're jumping from pterodactyl to pterodactyl, and somewhere in the middle of it, it kicks me off, puts me back at the beginning of the thing, like at the beginning of the scenario, and it just, it's bricked. I can't, I can't do it. I don't know why. Um, so I've kind of put that off until I can figure that out. And, you know, I even, I even tried to go up the mountain and kill the things manually. And I did, but the pterodactyl that you're typically on, it just kind of like stalls out in this one spot. And if you get on it, you're stuck there forever. And I, I don't have it on film, but I tried to blink to see what would happen if I tried to blink off of it. And it like put me into this void of nothingness. It's great. It was super. So, uh, Isle of Thunder, not quite done yet. Um, Timeless Isle is a Timeless Isle. It's going to take forever to grind that stuff anyway. 
uh, and then the Dominance campaign. Still working on that piece, but that's like a reputation grind in and of itself. But the rep grinds aren't too bad in general. I should have that done in pretty short order. Uh, definitely, definitely not worried about it. So now that begs the question, what, what, what now? What do I do now? What do I need to focus on to make my character stronger, better, faster, all that stuff? Firstly, you want to check your achievements because there's a lot of achievements that you have to do. And fortunately, I'm really glad they did this. They made a whole remix Pandarius section, even though I went through and like, you can see I did, you know, the town long steps. I completed that, uh, cast rank wilds, uh, all that dreadways, all that. There's still some like little things that I haven't completed. So I need to go through and I need to uncover the map in a couple of places here already did all the jade forest stuff but that i guess i just didn't fly over every section and then i have to get exalted with the order of the cloud serpent which i think i'm basically already there anyway order of the cloud serpent yeah i'm like really close to being done with that already um i did i did one of each daily quest for like everybody that i could get a daily quest for as well so even just going through the normal story, I got exalted with the hose and I got exalted with shadow pan. I got exalted with the Claxi. It's really super easy to get exalted rep with these guys. So I'm not really worried about the time it's going to take, but, but once you get here, you're going to be doing like achievement cleanup style things, uh, to get different pieces, but you definitely want to finish, uh, the escalation timeline uh, you want to finish, what is it called? Landfall. Landfall is a big one because if you come over to uh, this unassuming vendor, there are trinkets, there are rings, and a neck that you can unlock from doing different achievements. So this one is going to come from completing Escalation. Uh, this one's going to come from Heroic Dungeons. Uh, and this is going to come from heroic scenarios. This is basically just going to give you a whole load of stats. Super huge stats. Um, so you want to make sure that you you do all the heroic scenarios, you do all the heroic dungeons, uh, all that, and finish the escalation. I don't think that's going to be too hard to do, so I'm going to do it. But you can get all this stuff without getting into a raid other than the necklace. You do have to do the Pandaria Raids achievement in order to get the necklace, which hopefully isn't going to be too bad. Uh, another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't fall into the trap of spending all of your bronze on like garbage. So most people, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to come over to the mount vendor because everybody loves mounts. I love mounts. Don't get me wrong, but mounts, start at 2200 so 2k a little over 2k ish which i'm probably going to get the disc mounts maybe but that's a trap you don't want to do that because i'm not sure how the raid drops are going to work but if you come over to your item upgrades let's go ahead and put this helmet in here i got a blue helmet drop from somewhere uh one upgrade is going to cost 4500 uh bronze that's like two mounts right there. Just over two mounts for one item upgrade. And then if you try to upgrade it again, you'll see it's red. Uh, you know, it's red. All of your items have to be upgraded to 360 in order to get to the next tier. So you're going to have to spend, you know, quick math, however, however much that is. You know, you've got... Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, sheesh, that's a lot of bronze. That's actually, that's two thirds of the bronze that I have right now, just to go through one round of upgrading your stuff. I could be off base. I could not understand how it works. Perfectly reasonable thing to think but if i'm wrong let me know in the comments you know 
if there's some other way around this, but uh, all of the all the crates that I've been opening, all the content that has been dropping things has all been eye level 346, and I'm pretty sure that the only way that you can upgrade it is by upgrading all of your different pieces through the item upgrader. So that's going to be a huge bronze sink right there. Uh, another thing that you're going to want to save your bronze for, other than just like straight up character power, is going to be these exclusive heirloom appearances. You're definitely going to want to save up for these. Uh, you get these bones of Manoroth from killing uh, Garrosh. And yeah, I'm pretty confident these appearances either aren't in the main game or have been removed from the main game. And you're probably going to want those. So definitely, uh, definitely want to chill with that. Because, you know, if you go, if you, if you look over here, I, I can get this whole set. In fact, I recently did get this, this, this set, most of it, at least in retail. I, it, it would just take some additional time. Meanwhile you sunk more than an upgrade's worth of cost into it. So, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't sound like a good idea, at least with the knowledge that I have right now. And hey, you know, you can play however you want to play. If you don't want to do raiding and you don't want to, you know, do all that cool min maxi stuff, more power to you, dude. Spend, spend your bronze on whatever you want. Um, I'm just thinking, like, long game is going to be better if you focus on doing the higher content, cause it might give you like better bronze returns potentially not sure. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be working on finishing those achievements. I'm going to be working on saving up my bronze to get more character power. Technically with this person over here, you can buy gems. It's like 200 a pop for uh, random shipped gems. I don't know how efficient that is, especially because you're going to have to go to the Timeless Isle to farm up the Emperor rep anyway, and pretty much anything can drop a gem or a crate that might have a gem in it, threads, things like that. There's there's a lot of good reasons to go and just like farm stuff, and I think that pretty much the only reputation that's going to take a while is going to be the Emperor uh Shao how whatever uh rep unless there's a way to fast track that which if there is please let me know down in the comments i would i would love to know that because i don't want to sit there and kill mooseman forever or yakman however you put it okay so as far as content that you need to do granted uh you're naturally going to have to do group content in order to finish some of those achievements you'll get your little minor bronze caches i think this is like uh a few hundred bronze for doing some dungeons scenarios you get a cash uh for doing uh random scenarios uh, standard scenarios you get a lesser bronze for doing a heroic scenario and then raid finder you're gonna get a less uh lesser bronze for doing your raids and you're gonna get more experience on your cloak now i don't know if this is gonna stack higher than 100 percent. i hope that it does because that'd be really dope but you have tons and tons of raid finder content that you can do Tons of stuff that you can queue for. Uh, I recommend doing it all. Because um, you you just get so much bronze for doing it. Uh, the queue times have been a little unfortunate for some of the lower tier dungeons. I mean, uh, lower tier raids. But that's just how it's going to be for a DPS person. I'm still getting used to Vengeance tanking. So, I'm I don't know. I don't want to screw up stuff. But, uh, yeah. And then, naturally, you can go in... You can pug, you can find groups, uh, a lot of people making pug groups, doing world bosses and things like that. So, yeah. So to answer your question, you know, kind of what do you need to do now? Focus on your achievements, trying to earn bronze to get more player power, do your reputations, and queue up for everything. Make sure that you're queuing up for... Uh, all of your LFR stuff, uh, try to do normals, try to do heroics if you can, you know, ideally you'd have your rings and stuff before then, but, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it's looking 
for me, and I'm excited about it. Uh, hopefully, I'll have some of that stuff dusted up, uh, done and dusted here the next day-ish or so. Uh, let me know your thoughts about Remix. Where are you right now? Have Have you already blasted way past where I am? Are you still kind of working up towards the point where you're transitioning from early game into late game? Uh, let me know. Uh, I also wanted to say, if you did make it this far in the video, thank you so much. Big, big preach for making it this far in the video. Uh, my videos have, have actually been getting a lot of views recently, like in the thousands-ish, at least relative to what I've been doing, I guess. Uh, and I just, I just appreciate that. Uh, most people aren't subscribed. Smash the subscribe button. Hit that bell and so on and and what have you uh but anyway just watching the videos i i appreciate it a lot it it's been helping me stay motivated to do anything at all and i i you, you don't know how much i appreciate that it's great um link to the patreon in the description a dollar helps or don't that's up to you uh thank you and have a good one.